characters that you guys get blessed with getting to watch them from the comfort of your uh, own home. Yeah, and I mean, even if, you know, you think, hey, you know, I, I want to see what the difference is between a Japanese and American playstyle, we're right here in your backyard here in SoCal, man. You're more than welcome to come on out. Got a good shot of uh, playing someone not from here. I think for Umeki, it might be, for this matchup specifically, it might be a little tough to get on um, or combo gaming watch because he's going to have that up B out, up B out of the combos, right? So yeah. that might be a factor, and I don't know how good Peach is at comboing characters that are as floaty slash small as Game & Watch. Yeah. But me personally, out of all the Peaches to watch, Umeki's my favorite because his punish game. Yeah. And, you know, man, me, me being a GSM coming from the Brawl Combo videos, I'm all about watching that punish game. And Umeki does so many cool things like down tilt into the drag down up air, like float cancel drag down up air into down tilt, rinse repeat. Yeah. He, has, he has a bunch of cool like drag down up air stuff that you get to see him chain across stage. In Smash 4, he was able to pull yeah. off the infinite. Yeah, it was literally just named after him because he was the one doing that. He infinite. was literally the only person that could do it. Yeah. It was very, very hard. Like, stupid hard to do. And this guy would do it in bracket. Like, the nerves are building, and this guy pulls it off in bracket. That's crazy. But, of course, rocking the Daisy in this game. Yeah. Got to respect it. I mean, didn't he play Daisy Color in 4? Yes, he did. Yeah. So, he, yeah. Was, a, he, he was, was a sleeper Daisy man. Yeah. He, he was Daisy. preparing, bro. He, he had the read. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he definitely had the read. And um, I love Daisy's. Uh, Daisy and Peach have amazing color palettes. They really do. This is a great one. Yeah, like the red, black with the gray, too. Like, mm, looking good. And, of course, all the other ones. Um, but, of course, Twerk Master on the gray Game & Watch. And we'll see how this goes down. Of course, uh, Umeki seated to uh, beat Twerk Master. But it won't be the first time I see a Game & Watch get an upset, man. Yeah, I mean. Definitely not a popular character, so. I'm not going to say that Game & Watchers get carried by matchup inexperience, but not a, not a lot of people will go into the Game & Watch matchup like super experienced, right? Yeah, definitely something you got to watch out for just because, you know, there, like you said, there aren't a whole lot of them. We're kind of blessed in SoCal that we have a player from pretty much any character. Yeah. yeah. But not every region has that, you know? Yeah, I mean, that, that's one of the benefits you're going to get when because SoCal is just such a large slash populated yeah. region, right? So you're, you're going to get a lot of character diversity with that. Some of the smaller regions don't really have that blessing. So when you're going out to Nationals, you're, it, it's like you want to get as far as bracket, but the mission is to also get as much matchup, in exper or matchup experience for some of the matchups you don't have experience with. Yeah, that really is the beauty of you know leaving home to you yeah. know, go on your journey and uh, learn some stuff. To be a Smash Master, dude. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but right now Umeki, honestly, not taking too much damage, and Peach hits like a truck and definitely can outrange uh, Game & Watch in certain situations. So he's just got to avoid that forward air like the Plague. But right now, slowly but surely, Twerk Master racking up some of this damage. Yeah, and that was a really cool interaction there where he got dragged down neutral air into the jab. It just did a lot of damage to him. That kind of brought Twerk Master back into this a little bit. Oh, there's a forward air. Oh, man, barely getting away from that down tilt. But Twerk Master, like I said, slowly but surely clawing his way back in. That forward tilt, so good. The side B, almost going to get the stock. Oh, goes right through that turn up. But the corner pressure, this is the scary thing about going up against Peach Loop. The float cancel back air barrage, it, it's never ending, bro. Okay, gonna pull some turn ups. Both, both players just opting to go with some really safe stuff. But man, Twerk Master is still alive 142% right now. Wow, the bomb. Oof, so, so close. Both these players really looking for this stock. And right now, Twerk Master. He has all this rage. He wants to make oh. something of it in the four tilt. Yeah, the, hit him with the chair, man. Yeah. Sometimes you got to hit him with the wrestling move, man. Bro, the smackdown right now. <laughs> and right now, I, I just really want to point out the, the survival. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we might get that for or what, what's side B. What, what was that? Survive. Sur uh, 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 for survive a side B. Uh, it's like a side B. That's what yeah, you're side B. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I kind of stumbled on my words. Yeah, you know, yeah. So. It, it happens to all of us. It'd be like that. You know what I mean? It'd be like that. All right, so there's the dash attack. And right now, I, I just feel like Twerk Master slowly but surely, some way, somehow, got the momentum on his side. And now it's not even like about him slowly building this percent. He's doing work on Umeki right now. I like the ledge drop up beat. Such a great option for Game & Watch. And Game & Watch can be pretty hard to ledge trap. He actually has the hardest normal getup to react to in yeah, the game. No. Because it's not like, it's literally like him teleporting into normal getup. It's so weird. It, it's really frustrating to deal with. I know uh, it was especially bad in the last game in four. Yeah. Um, you, you couldn't react to it at all until I- uh, You had to like almost like, guess. Right at the very end, I believe it was Captain L that figured ah! out. I believe it was Captain L that figured out that he actually has an animation on the ledge 
like his, specifically his mouth, for a normal get up. His mouth would open or something before he did normal get up. I don't know if that's still the case in this game. Dang, that's that's when you know it went deep, bro. When yeah. people have to be like, all right, Game Watch opened his mouth. He's normal get up. Yeah, destroy no, him. I mean, that's the kind of stuff you gotta do if you want to be a top player, man. You gotta be willing to put in that kind of work, I guess. Yeah, yeah, very, very true. Okay, we might keep striking back with the forward air. Got to watch these turnips. Got the down B that is also a reflector here for Gaming Watch. And man, that down air hit so low below the platform there, Umeki. And I mean, Daisy kind of tall, so. The up smash. Man, and Umeki is just trying. Another forward tilt. Wow. Wow, Swordmaster looking nice right now. What's the ledge trap here? Down tilt in the forward air. Beautiful DI up and in. Twerkmaster not able to get hit with that. Maybe if Umeki expected it and did like a full hop fairy would have got him, but. Nair to Nair to Nair. Okay, able to air dodge through. Can Umeki close out the stock? Yes, Ooh. he can. The forward air coming through. Great catch right there. Sees him jumping and just says, I'm going to float into you with this forward air right now. It's just going to be a traveling projectile of death right now. Okay, there's the upbeat into the Nair. And this, these up airs, man. Peach usually doesn't mind being in there because she has a lot of mix-ups with the float, but Game & Watch making it pretty troublesome here. Uh-oh. Here comes the Stitch Face. The down B? To reflect, yes, he does. Yeah. And the thing is, when Peach or Daisy is floating, they can do aerials without throwing the turn. Yeah, it's almost so, like it's kind of crazy good. Yeah, it's uh, maybe, just a little bit. <laughs> just, just a little bit. But, you know, well, oh. my point being that even if Game & Watch sits there holding the bucket, it, he's still going to get punished. Yeah, and right now, I like Umeki taking some risks here, trying to go for the tipper up smash. Can definitely kill this game and watch at like 60-70%. We see Umeki going for that. You, you don't want to see Umeki in that other situation on the first stock, right? This max rage game and watch. Like, none of your setups are online. It's so hard to get this stray hit. I like the side B there. Very safe. Pressure coming out off that shield bounce. Another side B. Umeki kind of going in right now. Is a regret? Oh, no. Maybe it wasn't a regret. But the, the forward air bomb finally finds his way to center stage, something Umeki was not giving up easily. I, he's still alive. alive. Not going to kill quite yet, but. Okay, there's the bomb. Umeki knows if he overextends one time, that could be the entire set. Game & Watch has some pretty craziness stuff. So Umeki trying to be very safe while trying to get this kill. The back air cross right stage, still not enough. What's the ledge trap here? Oh, oh, and there's the and back another air. one. Three rapid fire back airs. Umeki's yeah. saying, you think you're Twerk Master? No, you're Twerk Apprentice. I'm the Twerk Master here. Yeah. With these rapid fire back airs, able to get game number one. Yeah, Umeki looking stressed out here, man. <laughs> oh, man, I would be. Yeah, it, it can be hard to get this kill on the Game & Watch. And like you said, he Game & Watch has a lot of these disjoints that Peach does not like to fight. Yeah. <laughs> Especially like horizontal disjoints like the back air, like the Nair. Um, Peach definitely doesn't want to be able to like deal with that. Peach just wants to get in, do her damage, do all of her top tier stuff. But right now, Twerkmaster making it a lot more difficult than usual for Umeki. Are we going to go back to Falco? We could go back here. I mean, yeah, this, is, this is tough. Maybe Umeki's thinking on his bands right now. And Umeki's thinking real, real hard on this. Maybe. So no Battlefield and no PS2. All right. Yeah, he definitely didn't like how that game on Battlefield went. <laughs> Town and City is the next like big stage we're going to go to, with, or uh, at least with like large battle zones. Kalos would have been available as well. Torque Master looking like he's a little bit more comfortable here on the Town and City. No color changes. No character change is going to go right into this game, too. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Twerkmaster's face. He's saying they're like, yeah, I lost, but like, I, I know I can do it. Like, yeah, yeah. Very, uh... He, he still looks very confident. Yeah, very, very doable game one here for Twerkmaster. So, I mean, if anything, he, he was probably like, oh man, I was I was so, so close. But he was like, he's like more so looking in a positive way. Some people would like beat themselves up yeah. for it. But, you know, sometimes you gotta know when to be positive and when to be negative. He's like, damn, I took him back to the last hit. Like, damn, I'm, I'm pretty good at this game. Maybe uh, I can... Kind Just a nice. couple more hits, maybe I can actually win it. Like, I, I got this, man. Yep. It's one game at a time. Twerkmaster trying to get himself on the board and make this game three not only a dream, but a possibility. Ooh, I like that. He didn't, like, stay with the float on that downer. He actually canceled the float halfway through. Yeah, just pop him up, get the float air afterwards. Big damage. But an upbeat just going to anti-air uh, Umeki. And honestly, all these trades kind of in favor of Pete. 
just because she hits really hard. But right now, Burgmaster on the hunt, and look at that up out of shield. So, so quick. You cannot touch this character's shield. Trying to bait out this reflector. Oh, the Nair just out of range. Burgmaster able to land the Nair. Oh, wow, using Saibu to get back on the stage. There's the back air. Have him on the ledge. Oh, oh no, okay, we got double jump, though. No, it's game watch. He's not going to die that, but he most definitely will die that forward air. Yeah, really good stuff. You just saw that slight float back, catch the roll, and she says, are you dead? He almost died to the jab. Yeah, very fortunate for Town and City's last zone. Man, he, oh, okay, you got, you got the 2%. Man, th that was so much damage. I, I still can't believe it almost killed him. Look at that pressure, man. He hit his shield with like three different moves at the same time. Yep, and the forward air finally finds his mark. Umeki, honestly, not even racking up too much percent. Only 2.2 .2 on the board here for him. Yeah, Torque Master definitely keeping his very even. Back air, back air, yep. Big that. Whoa! Oh, I thought. I what? thought Twerk Master like up beat him and like killed him or something. But it was actually Umeki up beam. Which was actually really smart. Very uh very quick hitbox to throw out in front of him and he could always drift in too, right? Okay, so back to the neutral. The kind of crazy off stage interaction there. And look at this Umeki just utilizing this turn up as a threat. Yes, I want you to bucket so I can throw out some of my normal hitboxes and bait you into thinking I'm gonna throw this turn up. Try and pressure Ume Umeki is trying to find these back airs and things, and Torque Master knows it. He's just gonna try and up smash through it, get the armor. Yeah. Oh, oh look at this print. Oh, he had to roll out there. That was, that was really smart. And again, these up these out of pressure situations. You don't have to just do it after they hit your shield. If you just see your opponent above you, up B. You're yeah. probably gonna anti air him. Okay, falling down with the neutral air. Man, this is such patient gameplay coming out from both these players. And most gaming watches are known for their patient play styles. Like, just generally, the character is optimally played <laughs> with uh, by be pa being patient, right? Yeah. Definitely a better defensive archetype character. Right, right. You can still definitely go in with Game Watch, and you can definitely still do that. But, oh, there's the forward air, and that's going to slap him right out. And right now, Umeki got the winky face on deck. A B up air. Imagine if the upper killed. How unfair. I'm so glad it, it doesn't kill anymore. Dude, thank goodness. Oh, there's a down smash cross stage. Not going to get the berry. That's actually a really big break for Umeki because if you got berry, that would have been it. Wow, very good neutral air dodge. Not a directional oh. air dodge there. Oh. Man, we got the Bring combos, though. All right, Umeki. He tries ladder combos. You, you, uh, you spicing it up. Bringing some new combos to the kitchen. I like it. Now Umeki. Just do it. Wow, oh. look at that bait. He got so much damage. He's got the rage, too. He could die here. Z drop. Gonna go right through, and the down air oh, will take him off the top. So smart there from Torque Master. Yeah. And he's been, it feels like he's been saving that matchup. He doesn't he doesn't throw that out willy-nilly. And you can't really like throw out some of your options, right? Some of your tricks, you need to save it against some a lot of these top-level players. Yeah, you can't show everything on game one or else game number two, game well, number three, they don't go your way. Or even like showing something for damage. You know, sometimes if you can get the stock for it, hold on to it. You know, hold on yeah. to that trick, get the stock for it, make it really count. Oh, there it is. Beautiful anti-air. He anti-aired him from so far away. And look at Twerk Master getting all this damage, bringing this back. Okay, going to set up the turn up here, setting up the float. So, so scary. Look at all the things you have to avoid. Oh, you saw that forest match crank. Yeah, but that was a great neutral air through the ledge. Oh. Twerk Master, he's just juggling him with these uppers, evening out the ah! percent. Dude, this is so close. And, and like a, a 4 2 oh! or smash attack, he takes the game two off of Umeki. Umeki nodding his head in approval. Very great play, very great up smash anti air. And where do you land if you're Umeki, man? It's so hard. And Peach is not the fastest faller. So Torque Master has a lot of time to set up these up airs, set up these forward airs. And on top of that, set up the up smash anti air. Amazing play right there from Torque Master, keeping him. Keeping his head level, you know, it started to really get away from him, but he knew a couple of openings and he made it work. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good stuff. But now, we're here. Game number three. You said, you said it yourself, man. Twerkmaster looked a little too confident after losing game one. Like, wh what's up with that? But, you know, he's showing that he has the chop, he has what it takes, and the color counter? Hey. No, 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 no. Chill, chill, chill. Like, we ain't going that hard. Oh man, what a set, dude! This is this is a crazy uh, wave D. I'm glad I, I I'm glad I hopped on the mic. Yeah, this has been incredible to watch so far. All right, so no color change, no character change. We're going into this game three. We are still in w pools. 
this pool, by the way, just so crazy, right? So this is a best of three. This is the last game of the set. Who is going to get this first stock advantage, man? Ooh, nice carry. Okay, we'll right into the combos here, down air into fair. And it definitely seems like um, Daisy's combos aren't too extensive on Game & Watch. I know before the set even started, we were kind of talking about it and wondering what kind of combo game Peach has on some of these floaties. And it looks like Umeki is able to get like some of these two to three hit combos, but nothing too crazy, right? Okay, there's the up airs, keeping this juggle going. And this is the situation that Twerk Master loves. Yeah, it, and he's so good at putting you in that situation, making you panic, and then just reacting to whatever your option is. Yeah, exactly. And the, these up airs, man, I know a lot of gaming watchers were complaining about the new up air. <coughs> Obviously, you don't have Toot Toot anymore, but you know it can still have a very great usage. I see Game Watchers get a ton of damage with it. Yeah, and it, the hitbox of it is so big, you know, it does damage the whole way through. Whereas, you know, it used to just have a little bit of damage and then a win box, you're actually able to use it to juggle people and rack up the damage. Right, right. Man, and look at this game. Like, even this first stock, it's so damn close. Up beat a ledge here. Man, that up beat got some distance. And on top of that, you can cancel the parachute by pressing down, and then you get a directional air dodge. This yeah. character actually has, like, one of the best recoveries in the game. And, and you can use just attacks out of it, too. So even when you're using it in neutral, Dude. you can land safely with down air. It's, it's so incredible. And wow, the chair almost takes Umeki out. Kind of looked like a little sus DI there. But Umeki barely holding on to this first stock, which is so, so important against a character like Game & Watch. There's up B, not going to be enough to kill. Man, but who is going to strike first? Umeki looking for this back air. Oh, swings right through the forehead. That probably would have been the sock down. Tilt, another option that will kill for Torque Master. Yeah, I'm just thinking about if you couldn't hit the bomb, how strong Dude, it would be so would broken. Be. It would be so broken. If it was so like transcendent, crazy. like Wolf. Yeah. Wow, beautiful fade back. And he barely squeezed out that board air before the fish. Oh, but Torque Master, yeah, just uh, like the swift, the most swift for spawn you can actually get. Spawning right in and do, doing Ooh. a uh, smash attack. Yeah, now he's trying to look for these two frames with the down air. I like the use, you know, just try to poke Game Watch at the end of his upbeat. He had a little bit of damage off it. Yeah. But these two have been going even the whole time, even sitting at 30 point something percent of peace. And okay, so a little reset here, dead even actually. Uh, we're just resetting points and turn ups, pulling out some forward airs, you know. Wow, that actually, Twerk Master, these forward airs are working out great for him. And I just love how Twerk Master is almost just setting up shop with these up airs and these forward airs. It, it is, it's so crazy how different of a character Game & Watch is coming from four into this game, right? Yeah. Because in, in Smash 4, he was actually seen as like kind of a discount Mario. You just like yeah. get get like uh, grab into the uh, up air, and then you have like a uh, up, up smash. smash pretty much. Like that. But yeah, no, he really feels like he's a character in this game. You know, yes, he still has that tangible up smash like Mario's, but you know, it, it's a little. He's still got a lot of different stuff going for him. Now. Oh yeah, he has so many tools that are unique to him. And shout out to all the Game Watch players that have been playing him. Ever since like melee or brawl, man, you're sticking through the character, well, and the played, character just gone through so many changes. Melee, like Dude, that character is booty in melee. His shield is horrendous. Like Olimar's? Yeah, it's actually. Yeah, may, maybe Olimar's was intentional, bro. Look at look at melee. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, but Umeki able to squeeze out that second stock. Honestly, not taking too much damage. Not a lot of rage on Torque Master either. So we'll see if he's able to respond as fast as he did on that second stock. Oh, I like the beer reverse uh, Neutral Beast coming out from Twerk. Very tricky movement here. Ooh, like the reaction coming out from Umeki. Most Peaches would have assumed he was going left, but able to adjust and react, man. And that's what you got to be able to do as a top player. And I let, look, Umeki's throwing these turnups, but he's throwing them as he's rising with the jump. So even if he reflexes, it'll go underneath him. And then he comes back over him with an arrow. That's so smart coming out from Umeki. With this corner pressure, that's where Peach is dangerous. And slowly but surely, Umeki is showing why he's a top player, and it's slowly, slowly but surely just getting farther and farther away from Twerk Master's grasp. I feel like I blinked and Umeki has a crazy lead now. Yes, he did it in a very quick manner, man. And now he is in percentage of death. Oh! Forward air. Oh, man, Barely down air. Alive. I like the down air just to position himself lower. Like, get me out of here, yeah. right? It's a lot harder to... Oh! Wow, oh. he's still alive, though. No double jump. He nope. teched the first one. Wow! Yeah, that's exactly what you want to see from Torque Master. He is still in this game, though. He is a very light character. He has to respect 
the chance of a forward air, great shield on the neutral gap. You know what's crazy? He didn't have double jump, so I was like, wow, you can't kill him because he can't double jump bear, right? But Torque Master was psyched. I have my up B, I can go aggressive with it, and then parachute glide all the way to the right. What an amazing um, usage of every single tool uh, Game & Watch has available to him, and that's why Torque Master is one of the best Game & Watches out there, man. Yeah, and he's starting to bring this percent back. He's still not close, but not the worst either. He's already racked up 42% on Umeki. Okay, on the ledge here, he's got it. The name of the game here for Torque Master is Survive. You are playing their survivability here, and you, you, you can, the damage will come with up, he's out of shield, you know what I mean? Yeah. Damage will come with that. Oh, oh but he no did attack. attack! Umeki sneaks it by with that down throw on the turn up, something we haven't really seen him go for no. too often, you know what I mean? And honestly, Torque Master, you really usually don't have to uh, tech those certain situations because up B's just so quick. Yeah. So you usually don't get hit out of your up B like that. But Umeki was able to like use a projectile instead of his own body to go for that. And really, really great setup by Umeki. He is able to clutch it out. Game yeah. three Huge versus Torque Master. There. Yeah, and who man, Umeki played that so well. Yeah, that was, oh man. And shout out to Torque Master too. He Taking someone yeah. like Umeki to that caliber. Someone with that legacy. Yeah, it's just very, very crazy, man. Very we have talented. So many great sets here at Switchfest 2019. I hope you guys 